y'all know what's going on. Another Can You Spit podcast. Hey! Y'all know it. Yo, Hey, it's your boy Trip Trip in the building. Y'all know what's going on. Yeah, I got man. my boy Kato over there. Y'all know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y'all say. Hey. We got your boy who? Hey, Big Bang Raw in the building. This Big Bang Raw era. Don't Bang Bang. forget the bank roll. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, then. Woo. Okay, then. What the fuck you said? So, Big Rob, we're good, but welcome back to the show, man. You know what I'm saying? It's your first time coming, but, you know. Yeah, well, yeah. Welcome back, to the though. Show, man. Peace, love, and blessings, man, from the family. You know what I'm saying? It's black like excellence. You know what I'm saying? We push number power, man, and peace. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, it's good to see another king. You know Most what I'm saying? Most of the power, thing, You know what I'm saying? Pushing P, period. <laughs> you feel <laughs> me? Yeah, Sasuke Mouth. So, shit, tell the people a little bit about yourself, man. Give us an introduction, man. Your um, name? Big Bang Rob. You know what I'm saying? Rap. I really do anything, like anything music wise, I can do that, but I mainly rap right now. So you're yeah. an engineer, producer. Right. No, not except engineer. Everything else, I do uh, everything. I'm about to say, you gotta have a lot of patience. Yeah. A lot Bad of patience. <laughs> I be like, man, just chop this up for me. Yeah. It take me three hours to engineer anything. Hmm. It's crazy. Well, what you, my fault, my fault, my fault, King. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Like, where you, uh, where you from? I'm from Fraser. I've been in Fraser. Bay area in the building. <laughs> Quit playing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, y'all know what's going on. That's back to back weeks. We got this crazy yeah. thing going on. You hey, know I think that's three or four weeks in a row. Man, I'm talking about damn. Y'all. I'm talking about he loving it too. What part of the baby? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I was over there by Treasure. Okay, yeah, look. Okay, yeah. What the uh, school, field, grow, yeah. all that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I grew up in the grove. Okay, I see you, man. Yeah. Hey, my brother from another mother. You know what I'm saying? We got to make it out together. <laughs> what age you were, kid? I'm 19. Ooh, 19. Yeah, young, 19. I said, okay. damn, nigga, you I, I like that. So I'm 19, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit, that was something. Yeah, yeah. Who was speaking? Can you speak? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fuck you, man. But yeah, nah, you ain't gotta be uncomfortable. Yeah. Like your back hurting right now. <laughs> I'm not scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about a little bit like where you from. Like you say you told you from the Fraser. So yeah, what from school Frasier. you went to? I went to Trigg in high school. You graduated from there? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I ain't coach you then. At nah. Georgia Hills or nothing. No, no, no. Oh yeah, you went to Westside. No, I went to Georgia Hill, but I, I like Nah you don't remember me. It's high. Right. Nah. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> so was it, what was it like growing up in, in, um, in Fraser, man? You know what I'm saying? Because I know you got some influences and different things growing up. So tell us a little bit about it. Uh, growing up in Fraser, it was really just like growing up anywhere else. Like really, really, I, I really stayed to myself. Like really, I don't really like know about everything else, but I really just stayed to myself. So just like that. Solo, dolo. Yeah. Out the way. Hey, you know what, though? That's the best way to be, you know what I'm saying? Because it's oh, yeah. so dangerous out here right there. You know yeah. People tell you stay dangerous instead of stay safe these days. So stay yeah. dangerous. Mm-hmm. Man, what, around what time you start rapping? Like what, what age? Uh, I started rapping in ninth grade. So what age? It was about fourteen. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, about fourteen. That might make me feel so. Can you remember <laughs> your first song? Yeah, my first song. I remember the first one. What I made a song. My first song I made when I was in fifth grade. Like I wrote it. But then I ain't even like recorded or nothing. Nah, it was it was a little jump, it was a little jump about school. I brought that jump. I don't remember it. I don't remember it. I don't remember it. Hey, that real though. We know yeah. it's being real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what was your first song that you recorded? Uh, it was one. It was in ninth grade. I got on some, a song with somebody else, and it, I was just trying it out. He just told me get on it, and when I did, I was like, damn, I like this. And ever since then, I just started making music. So you don't say yourself improve over the years. Yeah, okay. I improved a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah. Your delivery was there already in the ninth grade, or you had to work. My lyrics was there, but my delivery really wanted. I worked on it. Okay. Hey, okay. hey. Constructive criticism. All artists need to take that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Understand me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you remember your first song? Can you remember that first recording that you did? Uh, Can I can't remember. Any, I can't any remember. ball, any, no ball. anything from that job, bro. Anything. I, I really can't. I really can't. You should have you just came short, but y'all know what's going on. <laughs> it's trip, trip in the building, and y'all gonna hear my song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you like 13. Yeah. What you was, 13? 14. 14, yeah. You, you had the uh, nurse, nursery rhymes mm-hmm. going on. We know. Yeah. You know, I think everybody started out with that little peewee, you know what I'm saying? Woo, 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 woo. But like, what, what was it like that actually, like, just, like, I know you did that song, but was it something before that that, like, actually made you gravitate to music? Or anything that influenced uh, you in music? Music wise, nah, I was doing like videos and stuff. Like I was trying to do like YouTube videos because at the time they was they was like getting popular. So I was doing YouTube videos and stuff, but I wasn't getting that many views. But then when I found out the music, I was like, I can do this. It was really, 
You yeah. say YouTube videos. What you mean? Like the vlogs and stuff like that. So what type of vlogs and you know videos would you? I was doing, doing the vlogs, the pranks, and little stuff like that, just trying uh, to get seen. So you was you was elevating your audience. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, we gotta take their route sometimes. Start yeah. somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with it. I fuck with it because basically, like, so with the YouTube, I'm actually like learning from that, doing mm -hmm. that, doing just something with something. Then you switch into the rap. Did that. Merge in any type of way, like did that help you out in any type of way? Yeah, it did help. I think really a lot of people really know me more from like video content wise instead of rapping. Yeah. But like now they learning me more about the rap. Like do, music. do you think it's hard to get out of it? Like get out of that phase from going to a comedian to a rapper? Is it hard? No, it really ain't hard, but it's you know, it's it's going, but it ain't hard. It ain't really hard. So where do you see yourself in like the mix? Yeah, like next year, what next Ramstein, year? Where where you want to be? At? Like one of the really one of the mainstream artists, but if not mainstream, I'm gonna be up there. Like for you sure. looking to get signed, or you want to stay? In yeah, I, I would get signed. Like okay, don't take no three sixty. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Master Peter, <and> Peter. <laughs> <laughs> So what type of artist? Like so what type? <laughs> so what type of audiences are you trying to reach? Like with your music, like. Where you trying to go with your music? As far as you said mainstream, like mm -hmm. what type of mainstream like audiences are you aiming for? Really, all audiences, but like whoever like the music, really, it ain't mm -hmm. really like no target. I'm just looking for whoever hear the music and like it, man. That's who like it. Okay. Okay. Man, we gotta get it. Ooh, we we gotta get to the video of the week, man. All right, okay. Hey, okay. we got okay. you. Cause I'm off and get into all type of details. I want to know everything. Hey, so, yeah. All right, that go. So it's all right, we got them coming. <laughs> After we shot that little two. video. Yeah, yeah hey, we drilling in. Oh, we got a part two of this. So let me ask you, do you know what song you like? What's the video of the week you want to put up for the people? Uh, man? Big Bang Raw, Give It and Go. Well, you heard the first, man. Big Rob, man. Big Bank Rob, man. Give, big, give, big give it and go. Get it and go, man. Get the bank, you already bro. said, man. Big <laughs> Roll. <laughs> <laughs> all right, stay tuned, man. We'll be right back. Tell him I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I fuck you, with it. Where you filmed it? I filmed it in one sound studio. That's why I recorded in one sound. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. You got a Pacific engineer. Yeah, Rio. Rio the Don. Okay, okay. I heard of Rio. Okay. Yeah. How long you been rocking with Rio? Uh, really beginning this year. Ah, yeah. yeah. He get, maybe. He called, yeah. He called. Okay. He rapped too. When you, yeah, I know. Yeah. When you in the studio, like, do you like the feedback from the engineer? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I love that. That's the only reason I work with Rio. He give good feedback. Okay, so he wanted them to stop doing yeah. it. Stop doing it. Yeah. Are you going to be this two hours? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I couldn't do it. That, nah, I'm just playing. That's what you that. need, though. You need, like, a perfectionist. You need somebody mm. who's going who gonna to let you know, like, your craft, like, you can do better. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I think is that what you appreciate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel like your engineer made you better? Yeah. Okay. For sure. Hey, if you ain't got an engineer that make you better, 
there ain't no point of having them. So I'm asking you this then, based off of that question now, you know, before you got with him, was there a different sound in your music? Yeah, different sound. So the sound you got now, you feel like you've, it's been better? Yeah, way better. So let me ask you this then. Okay. Based off of your first recording that you just told us about a little earlier that you did when you was in ninth grade and the homie just was like, mm-hmm. you're on the training. It was a ooh. Like, based off of that, like, and where you at now, like, tell us a little bit about the growth process. Uh, the growth process, really, when, when I used to rap in ninth grade, like, when I first started rapping, I never been to a studio. I rapped off my phone. Right. Uh, an yeah. app called Band Lab. Okay. Right. And I was doing right. it for about, I rapped on the phone for about like four, five years. And I just started going to the studio this year, beginning, yeah. of, the, beginning of the year. Damn. So, you, man, you start rapping at 13, you didn't see the studio. Yeah. So, damn. Let me ask you this, because yeah. it's, it's that, that's, right. deep, that's deep right there. <laughs> that's so, but when you 13, like, I'm an artist, all right? Mm-hmm. So, this is why I'm kind of digging into it. Right. You're 13, and you were rapping on the phone the whole time. Mm-hmm. 19 now. Yeah. When you first still foot in the studio, was the mic really intimidating? Uh, mm. no, nah, I got the video out on YouTube. It wasn't even intimidating though. So you just, uh, I know, I tell you, I tell everybody that first go to the studio, hey, that mic is intimidating. I don't care what nobody <laughs> say. Because, man, you don't do it right the first time, you got to do it again. Mm. And then that's written, and you can hear yourself in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So he ain't even on the phone, so that's why I had to act like, man, is that mic intimidating? But, but- on the phone though, you do it with your earphones, so it really like the studio anyway. Ah, okay. So like, I got the earphone right here recording with the with the mic, and the other earphone in my ear, so I can hear exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, he used the cheat code. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, I'm gonna say this right on some real spill because it's a different way you can look at that. You can look at it like how you looked at it, right? Right. Or you can look at it like because like what I've been through, shit, I've been through some other and shit, right? I had to record on the phone for mm-hmm. some years myself, right? So I'm gonna say this: it kind of either it can like have you unprepared when you go to the studio where you're intimidated right or it can have you prepared when you go to the studio to where when you hit the mic it's like shit the mic this mic ain't shit because this the quiet is yeah, way I better than what the fuck i've been fucking with for yeah. the last five years I've been, you know what i'm saying i've been tweaking this little bush mm-hmm. i've been tweaking for the last five years so when i get to the good shit i don't mind oh uh, yeah you're you ready. know what i'm saying i'm ready you, you know, know what i'm saying I, I love the fact like you can tell by a person's voice you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. that um when they start to take it serious, what they what they start doing, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can hear it in your voice, like, man, yeah, I did this, but I, I learned. It showed that you're coachable, yeah. you know what I'm saying? All right. Do you have any mentors now that stay in your ear? Uh, like, to my, like, personal? Yeah, like, any mentor, yeah. anybody you can call on? Not like. really, but, like, I got one person, his name, his name uh, well, he really my sister boyfriend. He really just keep me on track with music and stuff. Okay. Stuff like that. Do you send your music out to, like, a few people to hear yeah, it first yeah, before yeah. you release it. Yeah, I always do that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I, I, y'all do that. I, 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 I get that Ooh, look. I'm about to say, man, please. I think I get that look. I'm yeah. gonna try to tap into you uh, after the interview too. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I can try to assist you with some stuff that I got going. You know, connect you with some people too. Mm-hmm. Right, right, you know right, right, right. Each one, each one, each one, each one. So tell <laughs> us a little bit about uh, about your latest release. Because we know you got uh, some upcoming stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my latest release is uh recognition. It's need my recognition. Just saying I need my recognition. I've been rapping for so long, doing everything for so long, and I feel like I ain't been getting my proper recognition. So, yeah. There's an EP? Or yeah, it's an EP. EP? So, it's on our platform? Yeah. Okay, make sure y'all go get that recognition. Right. So you feel like you ain't recognized? Yeah, I ain't recognized. Yeah. Oh, okay. feel like you're slipping on. Mm-hmm. Slip on. Hey, when you feel like you slip on, you'll be surprised how many people are actually watching. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, right. them social media numbers, they numbers, but, man, it's more people seeing it. And they mm-hmm. my you probably hear keep going, keep going, keep going. You probably hear yeah. it a thousand times. That's because them people watching you, but they just ain't mm-hmm. double tap. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, 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 so, right. Man, I'm the person to tell you keep going. Don't worry about social media, keep going. And my be a listening ear for it. It was cause you young, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You're nineteen. And my I feel I feel like my job as an artist at twenty nine. At 29, 30, people start becoming legends in the game. My mm-hmm. job is to give you the right advice to ba- make sure you succeed. Because if I would have had the mindset of doing interviews and stuff like that at 19, I'd probably be on a whole Farther. other level. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, man, real. you turn any shows that you wouldn't go to. Like, any, any, have you ever had to turn down any show? To my, like, performance show? Yeah. No, no, no. Ah, okay. So, you're pretty much comfortable going anywhere. 
Because really, I feel like we really ain't really doing it too much. People really, but people still try people if they really not doing nothing. But still, like you really ain't in tune with nobody like doing nothing. Then you really shouldn't have to worry about nothing. Yeah, right. So tell me a little bit about this. Uh, this recognized. This EP. Recognition. Yeah, like uh, the rec- I'm sorry, recognition. Yes, yeah, EP. I got five songs on there. Okay. The only good. reason I got the five good. songs on there because the whole year I've been dropping EP. I got four. I got one album and four EPs up just this year. So yeah. Okay, so where one year? Yeah, just I'm like, year. where can where so can the people the studio, find that? Man, he working. I'm like, damn, like, hold up, you want to tell us about one? Like, what's up with what? these other guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, damn, like, what, you gotta tell these people like, <laughs> like where to find this stuff and uh, where to get this content. You can get it everywhere. Type in Big Bang Rob. My first, I got, I'm gonna I'm name all four. There we go. There we go. The first one's called Rebel. Rebel. This, this is when I first started rapping at the other studio I was at, and then the second one called I Swear to God. Yeah, I took like inspiration <laughs> from, from um Black Youngster. Right, <laughs> right, yeah, right. Youngsters, yeah. 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 Okay. Then the third one called The World Is Yours. It's an EP. Okay. And then the fourth one, Recognition. Okay. I feel positivity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can feel it. You can feel positivity when you're yeah. saying it. You know what I'm saying? I, hey, <laughs> I, y'all, I'm, hey, I'm loving this. You know what I'm saying? Because he's so coachable, but. Man, he working. Yeah, he put and, in the know, work. Man, one of my mottos is, man, remain humble but hungry. Mm. Like, that's, that's, that's uh, the motto for my label. Remain yeah. humble but hungry. And I hear the hunger, but I also hear the humbleness. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But don't never lose that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're hungry or they're humble. You know what I'm saying? Everybody need everybody need that balance. Mm. So what's the, uh, on the video, we also noticed, like, actual, the sauce them up. Sauce them hey, up. Yeah, sauce like, them up. Like what's up with that? Like you ain't like what's up? Oh uh, yeah, like, I, uh, up? like I said, I do some of everything. So I started selling my own t-shirts. I got t-shirts, hats, hoodies, everything. I am. I, oh you, okay. You huh? Who you use? Oh, I use a. Uh, it's a website. So like it's a company. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say because it, it pretty much printed in a real mm-hmm. good. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, I, you can tell. Yeah, yeah. It in I had doing for a while though, but when it's when it's right, brand new, that's what I'm telling. It lasts yeah. like nah. that's the quality. It right, lasts it, long. Yeah, it lasts yeah. long because I'm looking at. I'm like, okay, tell us a little bit about like sauce like right. Sauce yeah. yeah. Make it a label. What, what you trying to do? Yeah, it's uh, it's sauce them up, and I got a uh, my label called SCP. It's sauce crew production, but it's also strictly count paper. So okay. like everything basically based around sauce and then yeah paper you know what I'm saying okay yeah, you money. gotta make the money yeah get some money so what gotta the, give me some money <laughs> where can we find the sauce team up gear like with the uh, people want to get some of that this, you see what I'm saying oh, I'm saying hey saying. look anybody that got I, I'm gonna keep saying this every time I hear a website anybody that got a website they take it you know what I'm saying they take it <laughs> over that show how serious people is. Mm-hmm. Man, go get that money, merchandise, quit playing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so back to you. Back, back, back to you. Right, okay, so what was it? Tell us a little bit about your team. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to know a little bit about more about Big Bang Rob, man. Huh? Uh, really, you, like, team wise, I'm really doing everything myself. So, so, yeah. so, so, with your, you said you got the SE, I mean, the S. SCP. Right, SCP. so what, tell us about, like, you the CEO and yeah, the I'm artist the and all that and one? Yeah. So you a one man crew? Yeah. Okay. Oh man, he ain't playing. This man to drive four. Said he to drive how many EPs? Four. One four. album and, four, and three EPs. Four EP. Okay, three EPs. One, one album. album. Yeah. He the CEO and the artist and and, and, the, and, merch. Merch. and merch and merch. So get what man eating all the way around the board, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. When, when he said he do anything, when they take off, see that that's the masterpiece. Shit. That's the. Do you make your own? You know beats? what I'm saying? Yeah, not all my own beat. Not I don't make all the beats I rap on, but I do make my own beats too. Okay, you use that. Uh, what FL? Yeah, FL. FL okay. studio. It, hey, FL be going. Hey. Okay. He knows. Different. He knows something. It's different. So, yeah. so, so, so you know, tell us a little bit about. Your dating life, man. You're 19. Uh, yeah. you know what What's saying? going on? Like, hold up, man. We, we were talking too much. Too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn, can we talk about the ladies for a second? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out to Dan. You, you, you know what I'm saying?
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Down America. Uh, I got saying? How we do it? No, no. I got a girl. Yeah. You oh, got a girl. Shit. Yeah. Okay. You said it on camera. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Yeah. There we go. I got a girl. I have. What's up? I feel you, bro. They be trying to give me in trouble every week. Mm. I feel you. Is you that know you know? And I need you know. Is there anything you want you know put out there? Anything you want to say about you know? If not, cool. We gonna leave. Yeah, nah, this is this is. Yeah, uh, <laughs> got I, a girl. Hey, look. There you go. It's how we know. Hey, baby. That's how we know. Hey, I said I got a girl. You don't need to know nothing else. That's all they need to know. You know what I'm saying? I got a girl. That's it. Okay, so we cool with that. Okay, so you got no kids? No, I ain't got no kids. No, okay. okay. Nineteen hustling, ain't got no kids. My got a girl. Way. You Man, doing it, boy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. Big bang rock. I fuck with it. Man, since you have been taking music seriously, right? Mm. How how have you seen your following increase? Yeah, it's been going up. Like I said, when I first started, everything I'm doing, I ain't know like nobody, nobody in my area, nobody in none of these areas. But as I start doing stuff, it's like people start knowing me more. You feel like you had to move around a lot more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So did you try to on like did you just try the online thing like putting it online and then trying to just see oh let's see what what they do. Yeah, I just did it online. Yeah, yeah. and when you did just online, not going out, popping out, did did you see any uh, improvement or it, it was more improved when you start popping out? I really still don't pop out, so it's really basically everything really still from online. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah, but you do more. Yeah, I know you do more shows. So you do. Uh, how many shows you did? I don't really do shows. I don't do shows really. Ah, okay. Uh, are you open to them? Yeah, I'm open to do shows. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we, you just never. We try to line you up with some showcases and mm. stuff too. You know what I'm saying? I guess I'm out 27. I'm gonna be hosting. So man, make sure you pop out. You know what I'm saying? For like, sure. For sure. Yeah. Like. For sure. You want to be able to, uh, because if you already getting a great following now, mm. you want to be able to get a, give a great follow. Like, Visible. you're gonna get get a best the best outcome when you start moving around. It took it took me years to learn. Now, I ain't learned it to this year. I ain't gonna lie to you. Network. Mm. And I've been doing I've been doing this rapping stuff. PG y'all. Mm. <laughs> uh, yo, I've been doing this uh, rapping stuff for a minute though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I've been. Um, and once I start getting out here, I start connecting with my artists. Like, I connected with Can You Speak just by a show I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. then I brought, they brought me to the team. They were like, hey, I come in as a special guest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then the opportunity that can really, like, uh, open up for you because you will find another talent. I right. didn't know. I ain't. I ain't no host, but them fuck be like, you, you funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, my, I don't know what y'all talking about. This is me. You know what I'm saying? So Make tell us a little bit about. <laughs> <laughs> you Tell us a little bit. So, more a little bit about your music. Mm-hmm. Like, are you a writer? Or are you a Yeah, I write. Uh, um, Thank I God! I ain't trying to feel like I freestyle. <laughs> I write every night. So, no, no, no. That's that's real spill. Like, mm-hmm. it is what it is. Everybody yeah. approach the craft different ways. You know right. what I'm saying? Some people yeah. shoot us. And basketball, some people slashes and dunkers and post players. Like it is I what it is. You play your role. As long I as think you writers, can do it. I think writers get further. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like when you write, I think you get further. You can paint a, yeah. you can paint a better picture. Yeah, yeah. I like, feel when I, it comes I, to writing. I, I like I, I like that. My, I, so do you have? <laughs> you have writer's block? Cause you know uh, you're a writer. So do you have? A sometimes, writer's block? sometimes I do, but uh, not really though. But sometimes I do. Do you make any songs about the female? Like what? I know. probably got some of my notes. But yeah. My God, don't drop them all. Oh, oh, Quit playing. Oh, oh. You better. I, Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let's pause on this one. No, why? Why? Hold on. You got four. You got three EPs, and you got a whole album. And you ain't dropped a track about a, about these shots. <laughs> nah. uh, Jay Wade, hey, why? Hey, I'm telling Jay you. Jay Yo, Wade. Jay Wade. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you gonna when you pop when you pop out, you gonna fuck him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, look, right go on. I'm telling you, drop one. Man, come on, you drop at least one right now, so you can go on and get it. That's just advice, man, like man. period. Like I'm gonna tell you one thing about that shit. Street niggas gonna gonna bump your shit, niggas all that. Yeah, cool. But the shot is gonna go buy your shit. The, the shot is gonna buy it, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's the difference between the audiences. As well as I asked you earlier, the audiences, like, you're gonna always, like, the women, period. I don't mm. care if you talking about some gangsta shoot them up, bang, bang. But get what? Kevin Gates yeah. gonna pull something in there about eating some booty. Goddamn. <laughs> Man, and he gonna, and he gonna you do know what I'm saying? Like, you, gonna, you gonna find out, yo, yo, yo. Audience audience. gonna be your main, ladies gonna be your main audience. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, there's any, there's anybody, yeah, ladies, yeah. man, you capture. That's just love. Like, ain't gonna listen to you regardless, mm-hmm. especially if it pop. Like they gonna be like, oh my, like 
I listen to Glow like mm. every day. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. get me. You know what I'm saying? Like, go be bumping, though. Like, she bumping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. So, hey, y'all, I be cracking up. So, <laughs> what's the biggest challenge for you as an artist? Biggest challenge for me? Yeah. Like, in studio, or just what's the biggest What's the biggest challenge for you? I don't think I really got no challenges on artists. Like, it, to my life, making music. Mm. Making music, uh, performing music, or... Uh, you know, yeah. Challenge, challenge, just like you, challenges as an artist. As an artist, like uh, challenges. I don't get no challenge making music like that. Only challenge I would say, but I don't think it's really a challenge because it's gonna come. But like people not seeing it yet. Oh, it's the, the only attention. Challenge. Yeah. yeah, getting the attention. So yeah. you yeah. feel like you feel like the music you make is 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 already good. Yeah, you feel like the music you make is already sellable. You just waiting on the audience to come by. Mm. Okay. What, what, what's your what's your process in the studio? Uh, I really, when I get in there, I don't know, I, I got the song in my notes already. Uh -huh. Put the beat on, just go in there and rap. Okay, so it take you probably about, about, what, 30 minutes to go in there and drop something? For one know? song, yeah. Okay, yeah. But yeah, every time sure. I go, if I get like a one, if I get like a one hour, I do two to three songs. If I do like a two hour, I do like five, six like songs. You like folks in the studio with you? Yeah, yeah. Just mm -hmm. so I can look around and when I'm doing the song, I see everybody vibe. Okay. I know how like how the song okay. going. Everybody different in that sense. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like some, some people, people don't like, like yeah. yeah. Some people yeah. like folks. Some right. people don't. I'm I'm one of the people. Hey, you don't like I'm nobody. Nobody. Yeah. I hear me. <laughs> what boots say? In the lab. It's me. It's me and my. It's me and my barber. It's just right. me and my engineer. You know what I'm saying? That's, right. that's all I want. Don't put me on live. <laughs> So, so tell us a little bit about uh, your influences, man. Tell us, tell us. Uh, you growing up, I'm gonna say this first because we got you know this you know we got this this thing we do every week. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna just ask you, just growing up, do you have anybody like with your parents or your uncle that like really just instilled the music into you that you was like, man, I love riding the car with them, and they always jamming. I like uh, getting dropped off at school with them because they gonna always bump. Really, when I was younger, like. To my people playing me music and stuff. Yeah, because you're a kid, so it's not Re so much you getting. Really, like my, my older sisters, they used to play like Chiki, Gucci Mane, they were all that, Yo Gotti. How many siblings? So, how many siblings you, um, you have? I got ten, 10 siblings. No, I got nine siblings. It's 10 of us. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. See, that, this is part of the interview that we didn't know. <laughs> Look, so, this is. Oh, this is. Oh, damn. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, what number you fall in? Uh, what number? I'm, I'm a three. Three. You're a third? Yeah. So, what's the oldest? If you don't mind asking. Uh, my sister. She uh, I don't know how old she. So you got two got older sisters. Two older sisters. <laughs> 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 is, it, is it one parent? Did oh yeah, your parents still together? Yeah, yeah, they still together. So that ain't well, black love. <laughs> it ain't black, black love, y'all. You know well, we supposed to be clapping on that. Yeah, you, know hey, 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 you don't see that clapping on that. Do you feel support from <laughs> your family? Hey. 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 Go, man, that's love. Oh, man. You feel some support black love. Family? Yeah, I get I get a lot of support from my family. Like, okay, so they they miss me. Okay, I, I, I love I, I love it for you. My Kato, I'm, I'm about to get into it. You know what's going on? So hey, <laughs> top five, man. Top yeah. five, dead or alive. Who is your top five? We need my to know. Artists, we need to know. Top five, artists, dead number or alive. One, number one. Number one. Number two. Tupac. Tupac? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Number two. Them mama. He said Yo Gotti. Got okay. it. Hey. Number three. I with it. This was up. Kanye. Nah, Jesus. Nah, 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 nah. You heard Number me. four. Moneybag. Okay. 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 He said me versus And number me, five, huh? it got to be Lil Baby. Oh. Okay. You know, I just got, became a Lil Baby fan after watching the uh, documentary. Yeah. You, you know put, what I'm saying? You put a top five against against another top five, man. It's hard. It's hey, hard it's to knock hard. them down, you got man. a good top five. Top you know five is some, some heavy hitters, man. I'm going to let Kato ask you next question. I, I, I give you that one. So, I'm going to ask you this, though. Like, based off of that, like, which artist has has had the more influence on you on, and on your music? Probably Moneybag. Okay. Money bad, yo. Okay, this because this your generation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like we nineteen. Of, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that make a lot of sense, right? Because yeah. I wasn't expecting money bad. I, yeah. I was not expecting money bad. I, I wasn't expecting my Tupac or Yo Gotti. I don't be on it. So where, where does where does where does the Tupac influence come from? Like who in your life has put you? Because you're nineteen. Mm -hmm. So Tupac was dead and gone. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people, and I, you know, you know. So who who was that? Who played that, dear mama? 
when they I keep your head up. You know what I'm saying? I was younger. My uncle, he had like a, uh, I think it was an MP3 player or something. Mm-hmm. I had, I, <laughs> this man said, what I think is, I think it was an MP3 player? I would listen to it, and I, it was Tupac. <laughs> but then, as I got older, when I got older, I, I found Tupac again. I was like, my favorite artist. That man made me feel so old. So why can't you relate to Tupac? <laughs> like, or what was it? Because you're so young. Like, what was it that made you gravitate to his music so much? I don't know. He just had it. Like, he, he could tell, like, like, just listen to it. You can see what I'm saying. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. Uh, we know. We know. We know. We, know. we just trying you to figure out where you gravitated We know. I'm just you know trying to saying? see, like, because, you know, it's so hard. Like, I ain't going to say it's so hard. It's, you know, it's real music. Real music going to gravitate. Mm. Hopefully, you can leave a mark like that. Me, that you know what I'm saying? When you gone. So, can Let's I, let, let me ask you this. We did top five. You did top five hip hop. Right. You got top five R&B. Dead or alive. Who you got? Number one, Chris Brown. Okay. Make him say, oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. R&B, I don't know really. I don't really know R&B. I just know Chris Brown. He one of my top artists too. Ah, okay. So you're not okay. a really, you're not a really big R&B fan. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I so can, I can, I can dig that. Any local artists that that you that you like that you got a thing with? Local artists? No, not really, not really. Local no, it's great. It's like put that trip a trip on in your in your car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Man said he jammed himself and he jammed he jammed some legends in old schools. Hey. So. On that note, you know what I'm saying? I think hey. it's about that time, man. We'll be, hey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to the main event, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so we got a question that we ask every week, every artist, you know what I'm saying? I think this is the reason why you really came. We need to We know. need to know, for sure, you know what I'm saying? We, we done heard. to know. Find out about you. You've been putting in the recipe and cooking the batter and all this and all that. So we need to know what's, what it come out to be, like Big Bank Rob, what he said. Yo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can you spit? For sure. <laughs> Hey, let's get into it, man. Yeah, we're going from now. Can't wait. Stay tuned. Hey. Can you speak? Yeah. I ain't finna tell y'all how I got away with this shit. Lock me in that cave. Time to let me out. They didn't lock me in that cave. Now it's time to let me out. Hey. Let's go. Hey. I'm a motherfucking beast, they tried to lock me in the cage I got niggas hanging on me, but shit, I'm helping niggas, ayy Got the whole crowd rockin', every time I touch the stage They can't fuck with me, my name spreading around just like the play Take these pussies out, I come to your face and make you mad, see what you pussies bout Niggas used to never share they play, but guess who cooking now? Put them in the blender, got them shooking now Call me Cookie Monster, cause I take these niggas cookies In the yo, I'm all alone, these niggas fake no Call my phone. How you supposed to be my dog? But you ain't stingy with your bone. Freaking bitch up in the party. Want the fuck with my cologne? Told the bitch get on her knees. Did it put me in my zone? Took a risk to disagree. I be damned if I be broke. Remember when I started rapping? Nigga took me as a joke. Now I pop shit in designer just to take a nigga hoe. Niggas trying to bite my style. They trying to take a nigga flow. Trying to steal a nigga hoe. In my ear talking about this and let you probably ain't gon' blow. Got some racks and fuck it up, you know I had to get some more Try to keep trying to get close, I told him, Lil Brad, get your hoe Hey, Lil Brad, get your hoe, damn Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah Tell these folks your social site, man Man, Big Bang Raw, everywhere, you know what I'm saying, on Instagram One underscore Big Bang Raw, go follow me, go get it, thing. let's go